could you please introduce yourself and tell me what course you teach? My name is Dr. Lynn Levesk. I'm a faculty member in MCB and I teach an advanced lab course called um, Experimental Cell Biology Laboratory, uh, MCB 493. When is your course typically offered? We offer it once a week um, uh, on Fridays, both in the f fall and the spring semester. The spring 2016 was the first time the course was offered. Can you give me a brief overview of what is covered in your course? What are the learning goals? Yes, we uh, learn how to work with mammalian cells. So we learn how to grow uh, and maintain um, mammalian cells. We learn how to use mammalian cells in experimental designs. And we learn a lot of the basic um, cell biology uh, techniques that are used in, in labs. What is the format of your course? How often does it meet? So the, um, learn, the goal of the course is to build upon uh, what students have learned at MCB 253 and to learn how to work with live mammalian cells. It teaches people how to, um, how to design experiments using live cells, how to uh, analyze data um, in uh, cell biology experiments and how um, to criticize scientific literature based on cell biology. students in your course graded? So the course is divided into four modules. Each module uh, has three weeks. The first module talks about um, uh, basic um, cell culture techniques, uh, basic techniques uh, how to grow cells, how to make them maintain them alive, how to look at cell toxicity, how to uh, transfer cells uh, with plasma to express uh, exogenous proteins, uh, immunofluorescence. And then during the second modules we looked at experimental uh, protocols dealing with cell cycle and, um, and cell um, adhesion. During the third module we look at cellular differentiation. We look at differentiation of a um, a myoblast into a muscle cells and same thing uh, differenti neuronal differentiation and during the fourth modules the students have to design their own um, project uh, and carry out their project and then eventually um, present uh, write a report and present uh, their project to do weekly assignments and these assignments uh, have questions uh, pertaining to the reading that you have to do that from the textbook, as well as questions regarding the actual experimental uh, methods that you've learned during the week. And, uh, and that's worth 40% uh, of the grades. And then we also have checkpoints, and these checkpoints help student, uh, keep the students on track uh, toward developing their own individual project, which they'll be carrying out during the fourth module of the course and um, these checkpoints are worth 25% of the grades. And then uh, the students will need to write a report on their uh, individual project in the form of a small um, scientific manuscript and that will be worth 10% of their grades and then they will have to present that uh, they re their their results in a form of a in an oral presentation in a form of a PowerPoint presentation during um, a small uh, cinnamon symposium that we have at the end of the course and that's worth five percent of their points and then we have a final exam uh, worth twenty percent of the total grades and that final exam will be based on the um, reading and the assignment questions that they've had to answer throughout the semester as well as details about the techniques that they've learned. So, historically, which portion of the grade breakdown do students struggle with most? I would think the final exam, I've only had taught this course once already, so I, I think the final exam was the, the part that the students had most trouble with, uh, in part because it was cumulative and it had to do with all the, the material that they had learned throughout the semester. Are there points associated with attendance? Uh, we don't have we don't give points uh, specifically for attendance, but uh, if the students have a non-excusable um, uh, absence, we do not grade the assignment that's due that week. Are there any required textbooks for this course? Yes, we used um, the cell biology textbook by um, 
Polar and Earnshaw, which is an excellent uh, textbook, has beautiful images in it. What kind of background knowledge do I need to take this course? Are there prerequisites? Yes, you need to have completed MCB 253 beforehand. How do topics covered in your course apply to current research, medical, or scientific advancements? In great deals, all the techniques that we learn in the course are ones that are used um, every day in research laboratory as well as in um, medical uh, industry labs. What opportunities do you provide outside of class for students to ask questions or get assistance? I have uh, office hours every week and I also answer students' emails. Mm -hmm. What is your favorite experiment that the students perform? Actually, I have two favorite experiments. One is, and both has to do with cellular differentiation. One is neuronal differentiation, where we see uh, a small neuroblast that gets uh, differentiated and grows large neurites that can be beautifully stained with actin and tubulin antibodies. And then we have um, myoblast cells that we differentiate into myotubes. And once they're differentiated, these myotubes can actually start beating, contracting in a petri dish. How helpful do you feel this lab material is in helping students understand other courses in the MCB curriculum? Um, I think it's very useful. It gives you a, a good understanding of what it's like to um, uh, carry out experiment in cell biology and to be able to criticize uh, or analyze um, uh, cell biology experiment. We cover many of the basic cell biology uh, topics, for example, uh, cytoskeleton, um, cell adhesion, uh, cell cycle, and differentiations, which can be applied to many of the classes here in MCB. Are there lab practicals in this course? No, we don't have lab practicals. Okay. How would you describe the workload for this course? Is there an estimate for how much time students will spend outside the class? Um, I think that the students would need about two to four hours every week to uh, complete the assignments and prepare for the laboratory. Um, during the lab itself, it's a pretty hectic. We um, start right on time and we um, keep busy all the way to the end of the class. Mm -hmm. What techniques taught in this lab can be transferable to other facets of research? All techniques that we're teaching. Yeah. <laughs> Is there anything else that you would like to tell us about your course? In this course, we put a lot of emphasis on um, cellular imaging, and so and we get to take uh, beautiful pictures. So if you love looking at cells, live cells, and uh, or if you just have a, an artistic side to you and you just love beautiful pictures, this is a good course to take. Awesome. Okay. Thank you very much.